Hello, this is Jeff Forney from Jefe Tico Tours, the place you want to be when you want to go to Costa Rica. Okay, I'm here today to tell you how to, or to show you how to save your Zoom meeting link to a Word document so that when it's a recurring meeting, you don't have to keep looking for that email every single time. We're going to save it to the desktop so you don't have to keep searching for it. Okay, so the first thing you have to do, well, first thing I have to do is I have to share my screen with you. So I'm going to share my screen. Now you should see my controls across the bottom and you should see my controls across the top. And I'm going to have to show you my desktop. So the first thing you have to do is open up your email. So I'm going to show you my desktop. So there you are. You should be able to see my desktop. And you should go to wherever your email is, wherever you've gotten that email. So you're going to go there. Mine is in my um, Google Chrome extension, and it is right in here. I'm going to go to my bookmark for Yahoo Mail. And I'm going to go to the confirmation. It has to be the confirmation email that you got for the name of the group. So this group for me is called Francais, and so it'll say Francais confirmation. That's the email, not the one that's the invitation. If you get the invitation, that's the wrong one. So you want the confirmation. So you're going to click on the confirmation email, and then in there, in that email, you're going to highlight. Uh, you can either double click or triple click, and you're going to highlight the whole email and copy it with control C for copy, control C, copy. And now we're going to close out that email. I'm just going to minimize it in case I need to show it to you again. And now you're going to open a Microsoft Word document. The easiest way to do that is to go down here to the search window down here at the bottom and type in Word, W-O-R-D. Now, some of you might not have Microsoft Word on your computer. So if you don't have, this is what Microsoft Word looks like. It's that little blue square with a W, white W in it. That's Microsoft Word. Uh, if you don't have Microsoft Word, you surely have WordPad because WordPad comes pretty standard on every PC. So you're, but uh, most people also have Microsoft Word. So I'm going to use Microsoft Word today. So I'm going to click on Microsoft Word. It'll open up. There's Microsoft Word opening and you get a blank document. So you're going to go up here and you're going to click on blank document, double click, blank, blank document, click, click. Now you get a new document and we're going to paste that information we just took from my email into this document and you paste it. Make sure you click in there and make sure you got your cursor blinking there. And so that you're inside that document and now you're going to hit control V for paste, control V for paste. Now there is that email. This is the email that we just copied and pasted. We copied it and we pasted it. This right here is the link right here. This is the link. It says join from PC, Mac. Uh, sometimes uh, yours might say um, click here to join. That might be the text that's in your in your um, email. They're different depending upon the, 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 the host can change that text. But it's always says something like this, join from PC or click here to join. And that's the link right there. So we're going to save this file onto your desktop so that you can always find this file. So here's how we're going to do that. We're going to go file and we're going to go save as right there. Save as file, save as. And we're going to click on browse. Now it's going to call up everything on your computer. Now, of course, it opens your documents file on your PC, but we want to save it to the desktop. So we're going to go one to the left here and between this PC and that little icon right there that says the document save. You, you see that little arrow right there? Click on that arrow. You'll get a menu and right below that is desktop. So click on the word desktop. Okay, now you should see desktop up here and that says that we're saving this document. Well, we don't want to call it hi Forney. It takes the first line of it and it says hi Jeff Forney, but we don't want to do that. So we're going to highlight that. And we're going to change that to, let's see, let's call it, um, uh, oh, there we go. French class Zoom meeting link. I've done this before. <laughs> French class Zoom meeting link. Now, yours won't, necessarily, yours won't be there. You'll have to type it in. So French class Zoom meeting link. And we're going to click save because this is the title 
and we're saving it to our desktop. We're going to click Save. Oh, replaced it. Yeah, I'm going to replace the existing file. I've done, I did this once. I did a trial run. That's why it's already there. Sorry about that. I should have erased it before I started. But in any case, so now I'm going to close this out. And now I'm going to show you what you're going to have to do the day that you have your meeting. So instead of now trying to uh, find that, uh, that document somewhere on your on your uh, computer, you're just going to go right to it here on your desktop. I'm sorry, I moved mine. It should have appeared right there. But in my last time I tried this, I moved it. So you're going to find French class, but here you can't see it very well. So you can just move it over here to the dark where you can see it better, or you can put it anywhere you want it so that you can remember where it is. Just put it right there in the middle and you'll always remember where it is. So you're going to go to that document, double click on it. You're going to open it up. You're going to scroll down to that link. Now, when you put your cursor over it, you see that you get a little message there. It says control plus click to follow link. Okay. That means you're going to have to find the control button on the bottom left corner of your computer, hold down the control button and look what happens to your cursor. When, when you do that, watch, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to hold down the control. As soon as I hit the control button, I'm going to hit it right now. Watch. Boom. Now it changes into a little hand. That's how you know that it's ready to go. Now click that link and it should open it. There you go. And it opened it up in whatever your default internet browser is. And mine is um, Google Chrome. So it's asking you, here we are in Zoom. When the system dialogue prompts, click open Zoom meetings. And it's telling you that when this pops up, open Zoom meetings, question mark, you're going to click open Zoom meetings. You're not going to click cancel. You're going to click open Zoom meetings. So here we go. Click open Zoom meetings and it should open up your meeting. Now, I'm in a meeting because I'm recording this. And so it's asking me, do I want to leave the meeting that I'm in and start this new one? I don't want to do that because I'm still recording this for you. So but yours is not going to say leave and start. It's just going to say start meeting right here. So you're going to click on start meeting and voila, you will be in your Zoom meeting and you'll be done. I'm going to click cancel for now, but this is what you will click right here. It'll say start meeting. And I think it'll actually be a green button instead of a red button. But um, you're going to click start and then you're going to be in your meeting. And then each week, all you got to do is open up that same email and, and start it. Okay. And that's all you got to do. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing and that's all you gotta do. All right, so if you have any questions, write me a comment or send me an email. All right, take care, bye-bye.